Thank you very much. Welcome, everyone. We're thrilled to have you. It's wonderful. I think uh, one the silver lining to the incredible, difficult time that we have experienced this past year uh, is then that it has forced us to think differently and uh, uh, through these virtual uh, sessions brought us much closer together to our supporters and uh, partner organizations and donors that we usually don't see. So this is, this is really for us, a, a, like I said, a silver lining to COVID-19. So we will, uh, I think because of last year's experience, um, I think that we will continue to have uh, the, uh, to have the, these set virtual sessions along with some in-person sessions, God willing, next year. I see that um, a Starfish International has joined from Gambia. Can we have them recognized? Uh, can someone, can you turn your uh, videos on so that we could see you? <clears throat> there you are. How wonderful to see you from Gambia. Hi, how wonderful to see you. Mom, yes, and Mama Kajubi is here. Hi, Mama Kajubi, how are you? She is the uh, director of uh, the Business Skill Center which Mona has had the pleasure of supporting in the past three years. Yes, Mama Kajubi, thank you. Thank you for joining. That's wonderful to have you. And who do you have with you? The staff is my interest. The staff. Yeah, so I'm Ali Gay, one of the mentors in Starfish. Wonderful. I'm Mawa, My name is Mawa and mommy, I've seen you in the back. Say hi. Say hi. Stand up. Hi. And yes, everyone. She's the founder uh, and the driving force behind the Starfish International in Gambia. So thank you. Very welcome. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you for having us and congratulations. Mm -hmm. Well, it's wonderful to be to be with you, all of you. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think that we are going to um, uh, start the program. Uh, First of all, I want to welcome everyone to the session uh, as people join. Um, I think that uh, the work of Mona Foundation is uh, made possible by incredible partnership and support between uh, uh, of our wonderful volunteers, and wonderful supporters and donors that really allow us to do the work that we do in uh, uh, collaborating very closely with grassroots educational initiatives throughout the world. Without them, without our supporters, without our donors, without our volunteers, uh, we, we, the work of Mona Foundation cannot be done. So as a, as a board of director, as a board member, we always feel like the work that we do is really done on behalf of every one of our supporters and our volunteers. We see ourselves as the trustee of their trust um, mm -hmm. work on their behalf and in their name in, uh, in the field. So um, today's session, our celebration, is just a very small way and a token of our gratitude and appreciation uh, to those individuals who've made incredible and significant contributions to Mona Foundation's growth and development in the past many years. Uh, four years ago, our board of directors established these awards, four awards, Young Philanthropist Award, given to the youth who rise to serve, not to meet uh, school uh, community service hours, but uh, to really help others less fortunate than themselves and contributing to building a better world for everyone, everywhere. Our uh, service, Outstanding Service Award is given to individuals with incredible and impeccable record of service and significant service to Mona Foundation in one way or another. As you will see today, the recipient today has been with Mona Foundation for the past 19 years, if you can imagine, uh, and as I was explaining ahead of the program, um, you know, uh, uh, instrumental in the way that we started growing the foundation at the very early years when no one believed in Mona. 
Uh, the third award, humanitarian award, is really given to people that not only contribute significantly to the growth and uh, development of Mono Foundation, but also have a wider um, humanitarian efforts in other fields and are recognized by others in doing for doing so. Um, and then the last but not the least, uh, our Distinguished Partner Award, they've only given it to one, uh, uh, one time to individuals who are really, truly, in all uh, sense of the world, word, are Mona partners in, the, in, and in every aspect of our work. Uh, they, uh, Mike and Debbie Andersons, who are here, uh, if you can highlight them, our Distinguished Partner Award, award they distinct, our, our Distinguished Partner, and because they've chosen Mona as the uh, international arm of their very generous giving every year for the past eight years. Every year for the past eight years. We are so proud to have them as our partner. And they are part of Mona. We are, you know, they are Mona. And uh, so that's the fourth award that we have presented only once and so far to only to the Andersons. So with that, we are going to start the program. Uh, first, a, a start with a short video showing the board members and the volunteers in the past 20 years in, um, in the field visiting with our partner projects. <laughs> 